In this video, I'm going to talk to you about after-tax salvage value, what it is and how you can calculate it. So here's the idea. Uh, imagine that you're running a restaurant, okay? And uh, you say, hey, you know what? I want to uh, I want to run my catering business, so I want to buy a van. And the van maybe costs, say, $50,000. Is it worthwhile buying this van? Uh, is $50,000 a good investment? Well, it depends. It depends on what? Yes, the cash flows that this van is going to help you generate over the next, say, five years. So let's suppose that the useful life of this van is five years. So this van is probably going to help you generate some cash flow because it's going to help you in the catering business. You're going to generate some sales, so on and so forth. So you, you're definitely going to want to account for all those cash flows. But what you are also interested in is that after five years, at the end of five years, when I'm going to dispose this van or sell this van, how much cash flow am I going to get then? And so that price, that price at which you can salvage or sell the asset for at the end of its useful life, that is what the salvage value of the asset is. But here's the punchline. What you sell the asset for in the market can be different from what the asset is worth on the books or the accounting value of the van or the machine or the asset can be very diff different from the salvage value. And whenever that happens, there can be um, tax implications, specifically if the van has depreciated on your books so that if you bought it for say 50,000 and by the end of five years it's worth only say ten thousand dollars on the books so this is what we refer to as book value okay book value bv stands for book value uh if you now go and sell the van in the market and let's suppose market conditions are such that somebody is willing to buy it from you at let's suppose uh, $20,000, right? Then basically IRS comes along and says, hey, wait a minute, you're selling something that is uh, worth $10,000 for $20,000. Hey, you're making a profit. Technically it's called a capital gains. And guess what? You can't make gains without giving government money. So this ten thousand dollar profit this difference between what you're selling the asset for and what it is worth on the books you owe taxes on this okay and so while you may think that oh i'm going to sell my van for twenty thousand dollars and that's what i'm going to get no you're not going to get the salvage value because you're going to owe taxes and so that is why we are interested always in after tax salvage value after tax salvage value is nothing but the salvage value which is what you're selling the asset for but then you subtract the taxes that you owe on the difference between the salvage value and the book value so this is in our example this was twenty thousand dollars this was ten thousand dollars right and so the difference was ten thousand dollars as well and you're going to end up paying taxes on this so if the tax rate were something like like i don't know 21 percent then what you would technically get from selling the van is not twenty thousand dollars but twenty thousand dollars minus the 21 percent tax that you owe on the difference between twenty thousand and $10,000, which is what the asset is worth on the books. And so if you will do this math, you will find out that this will be essentially $17,900. This is the after-tax salvage value of the asset. This is what you are going to get from selling the van. And so if you go back now and you're thinking about, hey, should I buy this van for $50,000 today? And what I'm saying to you is that while you will consider all the different cash flows that you will get from this van over the next five years, at the end of five years, one of the things that you're gonna get from selling the van is not $20,000, which is what you're expecting to sell it for, but $17,900. And so this is the after-tax salvage value and the number that you should account for in your capital investment decision.